talking about for real. Get your mind correct. What it do is paw wall and I'm paid in full. My flow's out of control like a raging bull. T Ferris getting paid, run the game on a cool. He riding swingers to work and riding blades to school. I'm thinking A Silas with the What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be working on the Tahoe today. So I'll be changing out today my halogen bulbs to the LED bulbs as well as the cluster and interior lights to LED. And these are the LEDs that I'm gonna be using today made by Oxido. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you stay tuned and let's get to it. And here you can see, you know, they are on right now, but they don't look too bright and they look yellow. And I will replace them later as far as the housing and everything. But today I'm just changing out the bulbs because they're very dull. Don't forget the fog lights. Oh, in case I get caught in a swamp, that's a good idea. And I'm also going to be changing out my cluster from a 2000 to 2002 Escalade. Since the Tahoe is a 2000, that's what we'll work on it. So 2000 to 02. And I'm going to be replacing the lights inside with these LEDs inside here as well. And this brand right here, Oxido, I've used them before. And uh, the only ones that I had used before were the small parking lights on my Yukon. Like right over here, you know, the side markers that were amber. And they were real bright, so I liked them. And what's pretty cool about today is that this video is sponsored by Oxido. So thanks to them for reaching out, you know, and sending me a set of LED bulbs to replace on the Tahoe right here, which is pretty cool because, you know, I'm starting off fresh and they did go ahead and reach out to me to try out their bulbs in my truck. So I went ahead and accepted it and they did go ahead and send me out, you know, a pair of these bulbs right here, the interior bulbs and then also the headlight bulbs, which I didn't know that they even sell. I've actually used this brand before and they're smaller bulbs just like this the 194 or t10 style in like small lights you know like the parking lights or you know turn signal stuff like that but i didn't even really know that they had this which is pretty cool that they went ahead and reached out because like i said i had already used them before but i do want to see how these light up at night because i've never tried them before and i think this is actually a good time to put them on since i do have the halogens right now and they don't look too good so i'll be putting these on today and actually, before they had reached out, I had already placed an order for a set of bulbs. That's why I have this right here. And they're kind of open because I was already going to install them in my cluster. And like I said, it was cool that they contacted me right on time and went ahead and sent these. So I'll have enough bulbs of these right now to do the interior and then the cluster I was already going to do. And then now with the headlight bulbs right here, which is the ones that I want to try out because I'm pretty sure these are going to be bright. Like I said, I've used this before in the past and I like them a lot. So I want to see these right here. And see how they do if they do real good then of course i do want to upgrade the you know high beams and all the other lights right now but i think this would be a great start right here and if you want to purchase these with a discount i'll also have my discount code right here it'll be migo 713 or you can go into the description and it'll have a link right there so you can get the 15 percent off you know and just go to their website and you know pick out your bowls for your car year maker model and you'll be good to go right there but it's pretty simple and let me just go ahead and start taking this cluster apart so I can put in the new LEDs and then I can take my dash apart and you know put the new cluster with the new LEDs. I want to see what they look like. And to do this job is real easy. You know, I'm gonna just be using this drill with a seven millimeter and then like a small little flathead right here. And the same thing, you know, for the doors, you just pry them up. It's real easy. And I do have a replacement for this one because it's missing the cap. I already have it like right here. I took it off the Yukon. So I'll be putting this one in the new LED bulb. All right, so on the cluster right here, if I just flip it over, it just has these tabs right here where you can just pry them up with a flathead and I already pried them up. So it'll just pop right up. Once you do that, you can see all those tabs right here. So one, two, you know, three, all them right there. And then you can see the circuit board. And then these come off right here from the factory. They're not gonna be like this. And these are my old bulbs right here. As you can tell, they were different. And these were actually blue, but I'm gonna change them out to the white because they didn't look too great. They looked like kind of cheap, I guess. But whenever they come off from the factory, they look like this. You can't put no LED bulbs. So you do have to purchase a separate adapter. And they're just like this. And I'll have them linked on the description as well, but it'll be different. And then that way you can put the new LED inside here. Cause whenever you take the original ones off, they're just gonna be like this. And you know, those are not gonna, fit no led in there and this cluster uses only six bulbs so you'll have the six adapters and then six led bulbs right here so let me just go ahead and start putting them in here right now and like i said this is what it looks like right here and you just insert a bulb in there like real simple so there it is right there 
It looks pretty good. And then just slide them into here and then, you know, twist them. And that's pretty much it. And if you don't want them to move, you can also put a little bit of hot glue. I think I had put some before, like you can see right there, you know, just to like lock them in place if you feel like they're loose or anything like that. Cause these are aftermarket, but they graph pretty good. And I'll just go ahead and put that cover on. But before you put that cover, you can also plug it in just to make sure that they're all turning on because they are LEDs and sometimes you have to reverse them. But I'll go ahead and try that as well before I close it up just to make sure that it all works. You can just, you know, put your shifter down and your steering column down. And then, you know, just pull on the bezel right here. And then this one just slides right out. It was a little hard getting this one out because it was the first time, I guess, they didn't change out the radio before. So once you have that, the four screws are here. So one seven millimeter, the other one down here, and then down here and up there. It's not too bad. Once all those are off, then this just slides right out. And it is easier with two hands, but I can, you know, I'll just try it with one. And it just has one plug. So right up in there. Let me just go ahead and unplug that. So there it is. And when you're doing these clusters, as long as you stick within the same year of your truck, you should be good. So if yours is 03 to 06, then stick with that Escalade cluster. And then if it's a 2000 to 02, stick with that escalate cluster because the plugs are going to be different or read different so here you can see this plug will you know be just a direct fit right here so i'll just go ahead and plug it in and make sure all the leds turn on so i can close up this back and just bolt it up all right guys so i tested them out and they all work and i just noticed that on these bulbs even if you reverse them like they work just like halogen so it don't matter which way you put them they're going to turn on so that's pretty cool right there and there you can see the light on and off so it's easier if you do it in a little bit of more shade or dark, but right now it's like real sunny. But they're all good, and I'm going to go ahead and close this back up. Alright, so there it is, guys. And if you notice, this cluster does have a higher mileage. It has a, you know, 247 but the original cluster had like 100k or 100 yeah it was like 100 but i don't really care because you know i'm just working on this truck so i don't really mind i know and plus maybe later on i might even swap the engine or you know do whatever to it so i don't really mind about that but it is going to show a higher mileage which i'm fine with and now i'll just go ahead and snap that bezel on and i can start changing out the door leds and then do the headlights which are pretty easy on this truck right here as well down here there's a bulb right there so Take this one out here. You can see it works. It looks way brighter. And I'm gonna be replacing this one right here as well. So I have this other one that I had from the Yukon. So I'm gonna just take this one off. And there it is right there just pop it right in it's a pretty simple upgrade and then back here the same thing so you just take like a small flathead and then you just pop right out and later i might replace the housing as well but for now the white light is better than you know yellow light so that's pretty cool right there. Makes it look way better. Mm -hmm. 
gotta open another packet because I ran out of the LEDs. This one's already done. So here's the other one. And there it is. So now I have all the interior lights. And you can see they're whiter already. And later on, I will have to replace the top ones, but that's later, so those are different sizes. But for now, I have all the bottom ones and the cluster, which I wanna see in the dark. I just gotta wait a little bit, but for now, I'll just change out the headlights real quick. All right, now for the LED headlights. I've never used this one before, so I wanna see what they look like. I've never used these LEDs before, so I wanna see what they look like, and hopefully they're real bright, cause you know how I like my lights. I like them, you know, real bright. I don't like them too dim. Oh, they got gloves. The manual and the bulbs. They look a little big, but hopefully they're gonna fit in there. I'm gonna see right now. And you can see the fans right there. It's got a big fan, that's pretty cool. So let me just go ahead and try it out. Hopefully it fits, cause it does look kind of big, but maybe that makes it brighter, you know, who knows? But if it is, then that's cool. So that's them right there and i guess the cool thing is that you know it's all built in one and you don't have to put no extra ballots like in an hid bulb so they feel like really good quality you know they're sturdy and they have the fan so that's kind of cool so let me just go ahead and put them on right now taking off the headlights on the tahoe is pretty simple anyways and on this tahoe right here is real easy to take off these if you ever took them off before i'm pretty sure you have but you know i just got these two pins on the 03 and up well actually i think they're the same on 2000 to 06 so those and then once you do that you can just you know wiggle it out these are real easy to take off that's why i like these trucks also because you know it's real easy to work on them and then these let me just unplug them where i put the bulbs inside i just wanted to show you real quick the size comparison on the bulbs as you can see these are a little bit taller than the factory ones but there is a lot of space in the headlight, so don't worry about it. It will fit, and it is a plug-and-play, so that's good right there. And here you can see that I already have this one in. It's already mounted and, you know, ready to go. But I'll go ahead and show you on this one. You just lock them in like normal. But if yours is not going in, it could be that you have to adjust your plastic right here. As you can see, it already locked in, so nice and tight. And there's a lot of space in here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But this one, I went ahead and put in and just got a little bit less space. So most likely, if yours doesn't have all this clearance, it's because, you know, this plastic is either moved up or down. And you might need to get some clearance. But they do fit. And they're ready to go. So now I'm going to just go ahead and put them on a truck and wait for it to get darker so that I can see how bright they are. But whenever I drive the truck into the garage, I'll be able to see a little bit of the color of how they look in the garage right now. But I'll film it once it gets darker because that's what I want to see right there. So there it is right there. And it fit real good because there's no extra wiring or ballast in the way. So that's kind of cool right there. And let me just go ahead and do this one right here. All right, let me go ahead and test them out right now and just see what they look like right here. So they look real white right there, which is what I wanted. And like I said, later I will be replacing the bottom ones and the high beams and all that stuff for today. This is good right here. And it makes it look already, you know, a better color right there. And I'll just wait for later so I can shoot the video on them at night and see how far they go or, you know, what's the difference between the halogen and then the LED bulb right here. But I think they look pretty good so far. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. All right, so for now, I'm gonna just put it in the garage so I can pull it out later. And I was just testing them out right now. Go ahead and show you real quick on the Silverado. You can kind of see them already. That's the low beams. That's my high beams. You can't even see the high beams. That's the low beam high beam so i can tell they're already kind of brighter but like i said let me just wait for nighttime right there 
and the cluster you can see a little bit so that's pretty cool though yeah So that's the high beams right there and the low beam. And then my interior lights. You can see them a little bit right now. They're actually pretty bright. Just gotta wait for nighttime. Many secret patties later. All right guys, just check out the Tahoe real quick right here. As you can see, I went ahead and removed my hood because I've also been working on the engine while I was making this video. And the Tahoe's hood is still here. It's just on the Silverado right now. And I'll show you right over here. So pretty much what happened is I went ahead and sold the HD hood I had on here. And that's why the Tahoe's hood on here now. So that's where it's at for now. And later on, you know, I'll probably move it back on the Tahoe. But for now, it has no hood because I am working on the engine trying to tune it up, you know, because I wanted to run good. But this is what it looks like so far. And for the remainder of the video, you know, I'll finish it up just like this without no hood. Everything will still be the same on the headlights. You know, they're still stock. Nothing else has changed. So both of them are the same. And I think it makes it look pretty cool. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Looks kind of mean with no hood. And as you can see, it looks way different from the first day that I just got it. But you guys let me know, like I said, what you think down below. How's it looking so far? And I'll make a video on what I've done to it so far. And mostly I'm just trying to tune it up, you know, because I got to get it running good. But it had like some low oil pressure. And then also I'm still getting some misfires. I believe it's on something with the fuel or the fuel rail. So I'm going to still have to check that out. But it's, you know, looking way better now. You can already see that, you know, it's a little cleaner kind of. So let me just go ahead and wait for it to get darker, like I said. And much, much, much later. So you can see that they're all bright white. And under the mask, you know, now it looks much better. So it's looking better inside here. Let me know what you think. But here's the, you know, big difference with the headlights, because that's what I really wanted to see. And like I said, I'll show you on the on the drone shots and stuff. But I'll turn them on right here for you. So you can see the cluster and there goes the headlight right there. You can see the Yukon right there. I gotta, you know, move it around, but haven't had time to mess with it too much. But the cluster looks real good. It makes it look way better. And also guys, what's funny is that these lights are very bright that whenever I do my high beams and you'll see it on the on the video with the drone shot like the these low beams are actually brighter than my high beams and I'll test them out right now so you can see you'll you'll notice a difference a big difference so that's the high beams right there you can see it's on right there Bruh. and you, as you can see it like lost a lot of light watch the low beam again so it's a big difference it goes wider and like taller I guess it's like it's all around like further out everything is like brighter let me see if it'll pick up again. Bruh. So there again. So that's high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. So yeah, it's a big difference. But you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like these lights or what do you think about them? And also, if you guys want to do these lights for your car or truck or anything like that, I'll have the links down below in the description so you can get 15% off. And you can use my discount code MIGO713 and I'll have it right here. Or like I said in the description, so you guys can check that out. I actually do recommend them. I mean, they look real good in the interior, but I really like a lot the the headlights because they look, you know, they look bright. They go real far away, and but you'll see it on the drone. You know, like there's some cars that'll be passing by, and these lights are way brighter. And also, like some of the halogens, they just like they don't light up at all. Like they look very dull. And later on, I do want to change out my high beams because now you know they don't look like real high beams, so. I want to have some good high beams and matching also because I don't like that, you know, yellow color. And it's like, there's no light, so there's no point of using them right now. So I'll be using these. And also on the Escalade cluster, now I have the transmission temp gauge right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says trans temp. And, you know, on the original ones, they don't come with this. So the Escalade has that extra and, you know, you get an extra gauge right there. And it's functional, like I said, it's just plug and play. 
So if you do a mod like this, you know, just stick with the same year of your truck and then you should be good to go. DJ Michael Watts, get your mind correct. Switch the house remix. What they talking about for real? Get your mind correct. What it do is power wild and I'm paid in full. My flow's out of control like a raging bull. T Ferris getting paid, run the game on a cool. He riding swingers to work and riding blades to school. I'm thinking A solids with invisible polish. I'm a walking student loan. My teeth could put your kids through college. I done swung from Echo Heights to Jackson State. Holla at them Eastwood, six and eight running mates. Life is great, it ain't no need for me to complain. I'm deep in this rap. Game till the money is drained. I'm on fire when I stop. TV's drop and roll. Boys in West Columbia ducking the border patrol. It's the chick magnet. I got more dips to scold. My pockets deep like the Grand Canyon, but you just a pothole. My rims got campaign buttons like an election. My mouth got carrots like the ATB produce section player. Catch me with Derek on Gulf Bank. I catch boppers if I smell like a septic tank. Michael Watts just signed over a check this blank. I'm thinking to a bus with some flip flop hey, paint. You know what? them shoes that light up that kids can get from Payless. When well, I'm trying to get rims like those that light up when the brakes press. They call me your highness. I'm known for tires and chrome. Cause I push chrome like wheelchairs in a retirement home. I'm in the Kroger's parking lot trying to shop for parts. Cause I push chrome like they was grocery store shopping carts. Nigga asked the time like he was plotting to grab my watch. Let me see, hmm, I think it's a quarter past my Glock. Click, pop goes the weasel, 22's under the diesel. Gold diggers is like crabs, I don't want you and I won't eat you. How many throwback jerseys this little bastard got? Catch me in more Houston Rockets than the astronaut. Bastards not chameleon, but hey, what can they do to me? My rims had a growth spurt and yours just hit puberty. And I think that means you just reached 16 while we shopping lots where the drops come with six screens. Hold up, expose those. They be claiming they moving bricks Make them never wanna show they face Like that dude in the lunatics I assume the chicks wanna come to the room for flicks Cause the rims chop like Chinese Eating using them sticks Niggas be full of pride Thinking that they can hang with this Watch and screw it and chop it I'll drop it in five languages Water lay on bread Can you all run me with the flow? No better know where stand I let it go como yo Whoa, get your mind correct Paul Wall the chick magnet a millionaire, the color changing lizard, and the day hell broke loose too. Coming soon, baby. Hold up. think down below in the comments i don't know if you ever if you noticed on the clip like when cars were passing by like these lights were super bright that you know like their lights look like almost nothing those halogens like they don't do nothing so yeah i would recommend these oxido lights for the headlights and for the interior lights but the headlights are really bright so i like them later on i might want to do the high beams like i was saying in the beginning of the video so probably those and then all my side markers and all that stuff but i do want to change the headlights as well too the actual housing but yeah i like the way that they came out and you know they shine a lot so and then right here in the interior you can also see the you know just the white leds makes it look you know a little bit better and then the yellow lights like the top right here i gotta change them out as well and the cluster right here so yeah makes it look way better now the actual puddle lights are matching with the headlights you know they're way brighter now which is good because those halogens were not bright at all if you remember the puddle light was way brighter than my headlights which was you know funny but flashback all right so check it out the puddle lights are on and they're actually brighter than the regular halogens so i still haven't even put on the exito bulbs on but that's what it looks like right now it's a little dark i think it can get darker but you can see that the puddle light is way brighter already those puddle lights are like super bright but here you can see the halogens you know they're not too bright and like i said they are yellow and a flashback and put in there or you know that's what that's what a lot of you know manufacturers they just want to save some money i guess on halogen bulbs but i think i like this better you know i want to see 
you know what's on the floor and all that good stuff right there but you guys let me know what you guys think so far i think it's looking good all right guys let me know what you think on these lights right here i think they did real good so i approve and i give them a thumbs up but you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments if you like them or not or what do you think about it and also if you like this content don't forget to hit that like button subscribe comment all that good stuff that way we can keep making more videos like this and that'll be it for this video guys and i'll see you guys on the next one we're gone. I can't leave my team, man.